All right, so let episode one begin. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you skip the intro, that's cool. I won't hold it against you. It's just some weird voices. Booga booga booga. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Who oh, sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo? Can it talk? What was all that... <coughs> I mean, um, uh, what was all the noise of duty? Uh, oh, the ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down on the sky and grabbed her. Oh, she flew to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already ready. Good enough. Already ready. <laughs> I'm good enough. Very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Alright, here we go. So we have our basic moves. And we are ready to start our adventure on Banjo-Kazooie. Brand new series. Um, I hope to get these out like every Tuesday and Thursday, maybe. I don't know. It's really tough with my schedule because I don't really know uh, how busy I'm going to be during the week. Um, but I think this will take a lot less editing than, uh, Pokemon. So, as of right now, I plan on, like, doing this as an in-betweener. It should be easier to record, because I'll probably do a level in each sitting. So, uh, each level might be a few episodes. At least the later ones. Um, we'll probably get Mumbo's Mountain in this level, or in this recording, actually, so... Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm super, super pumped. One of these has the thing. I don't know which one. Uh. So Banjo-Kazooie used to, used to play this game all the time as a kid growing up. This was like the schoolyard game that we would always talk about. Uh, lots of like little secrets and hidden items and collectibles and just... Super well-designed game, if you ask me. Um, it's kind of like a niche favorite, I think. But to me, it's like a classic. I grew up playing this. Uh, one of my friend's brothers would play this game like non-stop and would always have little secrets that he would tell his brother and his brother would come tell me because he was in my class. And then the whole day, I would just be thinking about this new thing that he told me and if it was real or if he was just bluffing. And really, like, most of it was real. It was crazy. <laughs> um, so if you didn't hear in the last episode, I think it was, um, episode zero, I said that this is going to be, like, a nearly 100% playthrough. I'm not guaranteeing anything, but, uh, the perfectionist in me, or per not perfectionist, but completionist in me really wants to get, like, pretty much everything. So we'll have to see if that actually happens. Oops. Where is the thing? I know there's a thing. There it is. I found the thing. Ugh. Oh my goodness. That camera movement. Alright, so there's one more. Crap, which one did I forget? Die. I missed. You live this time. Oh my gosh! I'm supposed to know this game super well. Oh, I know which one. Die. Eh, yes! So, when you're underwater, you can hold the R button to... Uh, turn super fast. Very, very handy, especially if uh, you're, like, stuck underwater because that seems to happen a lot. Especially on, like, uh, Clanker's Cavern. It's a very handy move to know. 
So we got all the empty honeycomb pieces and we are going to go talk to Bottles and continue on to Grunty's lair. Bigga, 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 bigga. Oh, so you're ready to tackle the witch now. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Peace out, Maul. Love the music. Uh, super excited for ukulele. It sounds just like Banjo-Kazooie because the same guy, Grant Kirkhope, wrote all the music there. <clears throat> this fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly <clears throat> witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is soon be ready. Banjo, help! <clears throat> <clears throat> there he is, the fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Nailed it. <laughs> and those high voices. My voice is so deep and naturally. <clears throat> it's really not used to doing that. <clears throat> but hopefully it will be soon. Oh, sorry, dude. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. Great! To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Yes. I want to go to Mumbles Mountain. That's it. The picture's complete. And the door to Mumbles Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. And Mumbles Mountain, the first level. First, like... Separate level, I guess. Oh, there are three moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, what he said. She's. That's what she said? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. Oh, boo. Thank you. Give me that. Mmm, honey. Mmm, I'm starting to taste the other community. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air, the press C to send Kazooie slamming hard to the floor. Oh, brother, I don't do that, Lego. Get used to it, Nest Girl. You'll be using it a lot. It's true. Especially right now. E gumbo gum. Me gumbo stoken. Use for gumbo magic. That's kind of like a uh, clungo, maybe. Might as well get some eggs, too. I don't know how to do an egg voice. I've never done an egg voice before. Nyahaha! You dead. Jinjo! Duh -huh. I missed. So you have to get ten of them in every level. You don't have to, but there are ten of them. When you're ready to leave- <coughs> When you're ready to leave this world, stand on the thingy and do the thing. So I hope uh, you guys know about Banjo-Kazooie because um, I'm skipping or going through a lot of the text pretty quickly. Hope you guys don't mind. My face itches. Quit shaking your butt at me, dude. Uh. 
That's what I thought. Oh, jeez. Sneak attack. Man, he just bolted. Up, two, three, four. I hope you guys can hear the background music, because it's wonderful. Oh, the Talatron will tackle... <clears throat> oh, that sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the Z and then left C button. Uh, hold Z while moving to do the thing. Go practice. Oh, free energy. Thank you. So this is the Talon Trot. Um, pretty much we'll be using it all the time. Because it's faster. Is, is it this one? Yes. It's like I've played this game before. How about uh, these notes? Oops. Oh my goodness. Good thing this isn't a speedrun. Um, I'll be researching the speedruns a little bit just to kind of get the hang of how to go through every level and get all the notes and stuff. Um, but hopefully it's not too fast and it's still enjoyable. I don't want to like waste too much time aimlessly wandering to try to figure things out. So there's a hundred notes in every level, um, and those allow you to progress to later levels. There's note doors, and you need a certain number of notes to get through those doors. So it's handy getting pretty much all of them in every level, but it is not necessary. Like, you can miss a few in every level. Um, thank you, game designers. Oops. There we go. Yay! Ooh, clever bird, bird. That's my gorilla voice. I'm not sure if you could tell. Come on, Chimpy. Oh, see, I learned that from a speedrun. So, yeah, minor voices, I'm probably just not even going to think about doing. I mean, maybe if I... If I remember, I'll do them. Bigga, bigga, bigga. Time for Buzzer to learn ancient ways of the egg. <coughs> Hold Z, then the C button to shoot the eggs. Oh, sounds cool. Uh, alright. These voices are bugging me a little bit. <clears throat> My voice, that is. So, we have learned every move in this level already. Eekabokum. So, in every level, there's a Gruntilda switch as well, which uh, makes a puzzle piece or a jiggy appear in Gruntilda's lair, which is like kind of the overworld or like the portal between worlds or something however you want to explain it um and those help you as well there's 10 total uh i believe oh yeah shake and bake oops i shake and bake too hard huh. Yes. Take one for the team. Oh, wait, 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 what? What the crap? I hit him. Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go, go like this, go like this. Okay, that was weird. Erg, Bear Beach Conga. I played the Conga once. That is another Jiggy already. That is number six. Alright, so where do we need to go now? Uh, not that way. Rotate, please. Thank you. I used to be terrified of this little bull guy, and then I realized that you could knock him out, and it wasn't, like, scary anymore. <laughs> Alright, so there's our Jinjo. There's five Jinjos in every level. Blue, green, orange yellow purple I think is what I just saw 
and collecting those in every level gives you a puzzle piece. Um, I, I just, I love the consistency in every level, like, there's some things that you can expect, and then there's some, like, new things, like, there's a boss on every level. Um, the boss was Kanga, the giant gorilla in the tree that threw oranges at us. Um, there, there's the boss, there's the Jinjo puzzle piece, there's a hundred notes in every level. It's just really well designed all overall. There's usually like a, like a centerpiece kind of lo uh, logo, centerpiece logo, centerpiece jiggy. I don't know where that came from. That's gonna be number eight. Okay, yep, I know where the other two are. Um, most levels, maybe, or maybe like half of them, have a mumbo skull in them where you can um, change forms. Mumbo, like, transforms you into some creature, and it's super cool. Oh, there's two empty honeycomb pieces in every level. I can't forget to get that guy. Oh, come on. Please, the people are watching. Thank you. The uh, 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 Do we have enough? Did I forget one? Oh, I know where it is. Okay. We'll just save those. So we need five Mumbo tokens in order to be transformed. That's fine. We just have to run down here and go in here. So I did record this episode previously, um, but the sound was being weird. I'm having sound issues. I don't know why. Um, so I went back to an old setting so I hope this is loud enough. If not, I'll just have to tweak it in editing. Post-processing, if you will. And hopefully that, that all works out. So we have our five tokens now. Mumbo sleeping. Hello. Uh, oh, I didn't do a voice for Mumbo. I'll have to think of a voice for Mumbo. It's gotta be good. I've also been watching, like, some development videos about Banjo-Kazooie. The developers are so cool. They're super funny. Um, really, like, just down to earth, and they talk about, really, just, like, how they hacked everything together, and, like, the voices... Like mumbo, it's just a few syllables that randomly play with different pitches, so it's really cool that um, such like, simple uh, simple techniques can be fairly effective or at least stylized. So we're gonna climb the termite hill and there's a jiggy up here. And is this going to be all of the notes? I hope it is. Shagging back. Oh! So there's three missing. So I'm assuming I just missed a thing on uh, one of the hills. Huh. Yes. Looks like I've played this game before. Oh! Hey, he likes my backpack. That's what's up. So the speedrunners, they don't even need to be a termite to get up there, and I don't know how they do it. It's cool. I'm, I want to like show you guys the whole game and enjoy it. I don't want to just rush through it all. Hmm, I don't know which one I missed. Oh yeah, no fall damage. Not as a termite, at least. As Banjo, there's definitely fall damage. Hmm. So we missed three notes somewhere. Oh, and I also have to get the empty honeycomb piece. Thank you for the reminder, whoever was yelling at me. Uh, 
empty honeycomb piece is down this thing. Oh! Right in there. Thank you. And there are the three missing musical notes. I don't know how we missed those, but we did. And that is all 100 notes. Which is pretty amazing. So that is going to pretty much wrap up the first episode. We're going to get Grunty's layer uh, little puzzle piece here. Oh yeah. Try to get 100. I just did get 100. Bottle boy. Am I actually wearing shorts? I am wearing shorts. That looks funny. <clears throat> okay, so as we walk through here, Mumble's magic is going to uh, disappear. So thank you guys for joining me on this brand new series. Episode 1 is coming to an end. Thank you guys so, so very much. Stay tuned to see some ukulele and uh, hopefully Banjo-Tooie as well. Um, I'm trying to think of how long this will actually take to finish recording. Hopefully not too long. So make sure you guys stick around so you can see every little bit. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit short just because it's the first level and it's pretty easy. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for more. And my Charizard slippers are getting in the way of my cord. So we will see you next time. Oh, wait. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. I don't know what that means. But that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you for Treasure Trove Cove. Spoilers, but that's the next level. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.